Thanks for the welcome. Locust is a wildlife sanctuary where we take any species in. We're not species specific. From elephant all the way through to meerkats, we take care of everything. Oh, we're on the move here. It's quickened up on the left. Is it? Yeah. Come on, ball. Ball, bee. The fastest animal on Earth. You're not exactly setting a cracking pace, guys. <laughs> there are many animals that I'm excited to see and work with here but at the top of my list would have to be the cheetah. But there's one cheetah that Marlise is desperate to show me. Her name is Lucky. Look, she cuts the Hang on a second. Three legs. Yeah, you couldn't even say, tell it. I didn't notice that she was tearing past here and around, but... And she was caught in a, in a gin trap, a huge one, and... Hmm. Who would set a trap to try to... It was yeah. farmers, yeah. but they set the trap for, for jackal mm. and caracal, not for cheetahs. And then she was a youngster, around about six months old. Being a curious S cheetah. Yeah, yeah. step into the wrong trap. Cheetahs used to be spread all the way throughout Africa and even up into the Middle East, but right now cheetah are endangered and really heading towards becoming critically endangered. There are just 7,000 of them left in the wild. And if things continue the way they are, they may not be around for very much longer. So how many cheetahs have you got here all together now? We've got 26. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of health checks and, mm. and making sure they're all healthy and get their vaccination. So I'm very happy you're here because we need all the hands we can get. <laughs> so you're going to put me to work. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Come. How are you? Chris. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, good, good. Thank you. You're busy, huh? Yeah, we're always busy. It's starting to get warm, so you know we, we like to get these things going and, and doing, yeah. All right, so it's health check time. Health checks, yeah. So we have to do annual health checks on them, um, just because they are in a captive situation. Um, and that's what we're doing here today. Yeah, OK. Well, there's been a bit of interest already. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, they think they're getting fed now. Yeah. He's, he obviously good. likes the sweat without a little bit of salty <laughs> sweat now. No one's feel offended. I should have worn the shorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. When cheetahs grow up in captivity, they obviously become habituated to humans. It's almost endearing, but we have to be incredibly careful because without any fear, they're powerful and they're dangerous.